Welcome back to Scraphead. In this video I want to show you how I made this simple and cheap pinpointer. There is also a German version I already uploaded because I didn't determine finally which language I use on this channel. If you don't know what a pinpointer is, let me just tell you. A pinpointer is a device which you can use to pointedly search for a metallic object in a spoil or something you dug up at metal detecting. Normally pinpointers are fucking expensive, but I made a cheap alternative here. The centerpiece of this device is an inductive sensor which is run by a 9 volt battery cell. That's it. And according to this, the assembly is very easy. At first I shortened the cable of the sensor and stripped the ends. Same thing again with the 9 volt battery clip. I coated the ends of the battery clip and of the sensor with tin. Then I soldered together the battery clip and the sensor. Red goes to brown and black goes to blue. And don't forget to put some shrinking tube on the cable before. Then put the shrinking tubes over the soldered connections and heap them up. Finally the big shrinking tube over the small ones and that's it, it's done. Then I beamed up a 9 volt battery cell and now I can connect it to the clip. Because the sensor was delivered with two nuts for adjustment, we clamped the 9 volt battery cell between them. And voila, we are ready to test. Normally an inductive sensor is used in the industry like this. If there is a metallic object moving towards the sensor, the sensor realizes it and can start a new process. Like for example a conveyor belt which transports the metallic object in another direction. At a glance the sensor works like this. An oscillatory circuit causes an electromagnetic field at the head of the sensor. If a metallic object, like this piece of steel, approximates the sensor, eddy currents are caused and they change the amplitude of the oscillatory circuit. The electronic system inside the sensor realizes this and gives out a signal, like this illuminated red LED. The switching distance of this sensor is 18 mm, so that's the searching depth of the pinpointer, which is a lot for a sensor like this. That's why it's so big. In comparison to this, a little sensor like this has a switching distance of about 5 mm or less. In comparison to this, a professional pinpointer like the Garrett AT Pro, which is about 150 euros has a search depth of about 3 cm, so there's only a difference of about 1.2 cm. It doesn't matter which kind of metal you are searching for, if it is copper, steel, brass, aluminium or gold, the sensor detects everything. Small test. This is the datasheet of the sensor I'm using. With a switching distance of 18 mm, it was the biggest one I found and also the cheapest one. The Chinese seller on eBay charges only 8 euros for it, even though the datasheet shows that the sensor is made for 10 to 300 volts DC. It also runs perfectly with 9 volt. That's it for today. If you enjoyed it, Give the video a thumb up. I hope you guys are successful in recreating this project if you try. If not, just write it down in the comment section below so I can help you. 
in close future I want to make a waterproof version of this with a buzzer. If you don't want to miss this, just subscribe to my channel or come back at a later date. Thanks and bye bye. bye.